everyone, and welcome back to The Chronic Corner. I'm Lauren, and this episode is all about exercise and POTS. Now, a lot of people know this topic is extremely controversial. Physicians that specialize in POTS and dysautonomia very frequently will prescribe exercise as a treatment. And this is so difficult when you're a POTS patient and you feel horrible all the time. You have no energy, you're in cro- you have chronic pain. Um, you know, every time you sit up or stand up, you feel like you're going to pass out or you actually do. So to hear that you need to exercise can be incredibly frustrating. However, it is one of the top treatments that countless POTS physicians will tell you. So we wanted to do a quick video to kind of just go over the exercises that they do recommend. Um, You know, it's not a cure. It's just to help alleviate some of your symptoms. And so many of them swear by it that we thought it was important to do this. Also, all the information in this video will be taken from Dr. Satish Raj's speaker series that he did for us um, last Dysautonomia Awareness Month. And if you want to see that in full, um, there is a link to it in the description below. So the typical exercises that they recommend is nothing upright, nothing standing, um, no running, no treadmills, no ellipticals, nothing, no crazy cardio, no Pilates. Uh, They really stress doing exercises, sitting down or even laying down if you can, um, especially depending on the severity of your symptoms. So the three kind of ones that they recommend is a rowing machine, a recumbent bike, and swimming. Now, Dr. Raj really said, you know, he's in Canada, (laughs) and I'm up north too in the U.S., and we don't have access to pools, you know, year-round. If you're in the south, then great, you know, you probably do, but I'm lucky if I get four to five months, you know, in a pool here. So, a Recumma bike and a um, rowing machine are probably much more user-friendly for most people, and you don't have to get like a four or five thousand dollar one. You can get a much cheaper one online as well. Um, and he really stresses that when you're starting from the beginning, when you really you know haven't been exercising or your symptoms are really bad, turn off the resistance on any machines that you have um, to really see how much your body can do without pushing it. What is the length of time you can do? He really recommends doing at least 30 minutes, um, four days a week minimum. Now I know that can seem really, really daunting. So he also recommended start with that being the goal and see without any resistance how long you can go. And when it comes to swimming, um, make sure the water is not too hot because that's just going to lower your breath blood pressure. Anyway, (laughs) that's going to be disaster waiting to happen. Um, And that he also mentioned it's going to take probably four to six weeks for you to see a real improvement, which is hard to hear because that's a long time. And to be feeling miserable for that long is very difficult to feel like you're not making any progress. But he said it usually takes that long for people to start to feel an improvement. And that just like most exercise routines that the minute you stop exercising four days a week that you're going to feel your symptoms kind of sliding back into where they were beforehand that's important to keep up with it now that is his view and his recommendations as we all know and even he mentioned every person's different some people may be only be able to do five minutes on a recumbent bike versus someone whose symptoms are much more minimal um, who might be able to do an hour. You know, it, it just depends, but it's kind of the place that they recommend starting. It's also really important that if you are on whatever exercise routine or you want to start exercising to consult your physician, especially if you have more severe dysautonomia or POTS symptoms, and if you are on any kind of medication for it. Beta blockers and other medications in that same area will really affect how your body reacts to exercises like this. So it's important to consult your physician, of course. And again, it's not a cure. It's a treatment to hopefully alleviate your symptoms. And if this is something you're interested in, we would love to hear from you in the comments below if you've had any luck with a recumma bike, a rowing machine, or swimming. And for more things, visit dinet.org. Thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm.